Hi, I'm Paul Tapper from New Gen Audio. Um, I want to talk to you about what we're showing at IBC 2014. So we're showing our loudness toolkit, set of three plugins, which work in Avid Pro Tools, Avid Media Composer, or Adobe Premiere, or Final Cut Pro. And this is the tool set that production and post-production engineers need to make a calm compliant mix, a loudness compliant mix for broadcast. There's a real-time loudness meter, a true peak limiter, to mean that you don't have to worry about the true peak part of the standard, and then an offline loudness correction tool for when you've got a completed mix. The reason these tools are so important is if a broadcaster solves calm compliance or loudness compliance with just a loudness playout processor, that squashes the audio and all the work that the production and the post-production have put into making that audio sound great gets squashed and the life goes out of it. Instead, a better way is to solve calm compliance and loudness compliance earlier on in the production chain, during post-production and production, using these tools. That way, the, the mix doesn't have to be destroyed by blind processing later on. But new for this show, I want to show you some extensions that we've added to LMB, our batch processor for loudness. This tool is useful for QC and um, can be used by post-production houses or by broadcasters. The new feature is called Dynout, and it allows a dynamics adaptation to take a cinema soundtrack and reduce the loudness range while still preserving the level of the dialogue so it's appropriate for broadcast. It can also be used to repurpose broadcast audio for podcast.